There are countless different ways to train, from working out like an old time strongman, to performing calisthenics, to relying on the big lifts. However, it is my belief that rather than sticking to just one of these options, the best results come from mixing and matching the best techniques from each. With that in mind, here are some exercises you can borrow from different disciplines that can benefit you in multiple amazing ways, no matter your goals. The Cossack Squat. The Cossack Squat is a great move that works really well as a progression towards the pistol squat, whilst also improving mobility and strength. It's a great option for bodyweight leg training, and of course you can add extra weight if you wish. To perform the movement, you'll simply squat down low onto one leg, while keeping the other stretched out to the side. Try to get as low as you can so that your butt rests against your heel. To increase the challenge, you can grab a kettlebell to add weight. It's a position that you'll find is actively useful in many sports, effectively a sideways lunge. It will also build mobility for side kicks and roundhouse kicks. If you currently have no movements that train you in the frontal plane, which is likely for a lot of people, then it becomes even more valuable. Quasi-isometric squat. Speaking of squats, another fantastic squatting movement is the quasi-isometric squat. For those that haven't seen my previous videos on this, a quasi-isometric movement is one performed extremely slowly, almost as though you were motionless. It should take anywhere from 30 to 120 seconds in total to perform the entire movement. So you might be using 30 or 60 seconds each for the concentric and eccentric portions. This sounds easy until you try and do it, and then notice your legs shaking like mad. Normally we accelerate through those weakest parts of the movement, allowing the momentum to do most of the work. We are strangely weak at certain points within regular ranges of motion, and using a quasi-isometric will fix that. Not only that, but this slow movement into deep squat will improve your mobility, and you'll also be able to polish up your technique by feeling where your weight is distributed, if there's any curve in your spine, etc. The one-armed push-up. The one-armed push-up, or one-armed and one-legged push-up, is an amazing bodyweight move for building pec, tricep, and shoulder strength. By focusing your weight on just one side, you essentially create a push-up that is twice as difficult as it otherwise would be. But more than that, the one-armed push-up also moves the center of gravity away from your anchor to the ground, creating leverage and rotational force. As well as pushing the body up and down, you also need to concentrate on not allowing it to twist to the ground. This engages the obliques and builds amazing stability, making you hard to push over and increasing your body control and proprioception. As an added bonus, it looks cool too. Pseudo Planche Push-Up. The Pseudo Planche Push-Up is a push-up variation used in calisthenics and gymnastic strength training to develop the necessary attributes to perform planche. This involves moving the arms further down the body so that you're leaning forward over them. It's up to you if you wish to rotate the hands at the same time or keep them facing forwards, but the latter will require and therefore build greater wrist strength and stability. Meanwhile, you'll also be developing your straight arm strength as the elbow should be facing forwards and locking out at the top of each rep with the scapula protracted. The offset weight once again increases the relative resistance, but the angle places the force more squarely on the shoulders and the anterior delts in particular. My anterior deltoids have ballooned since I've been performing these, which has really enhanced my physique. It's also important to keep the torso in the hollow body position, contracting the abs and engaging the pelvis with the posterior pelvic tilt. This means that you'll be training your core simultaneously while working on posture and body awareness. Obviously this can help you to develop the planche, but on its own it has a lot of benefits and crossover for other aspects of your performance. Dumbbell runners are a time-saving move I used a lot when I was training more as a bodybuilder. I actually learned them from Sylvester Stallone's book Sly Moves. It turns out though it has a bunch of other benefits too. To perform, grab a dumbbell in each hand using a hammer grip. Now perform a hammer curl on one side while raising the shoulder and a tricep kickback on the other side. Then you're going to slowly swap sides in a continuous movement. It essentially looks like you're running in slow motion, a la Baywatch, while holding dumbbells. To perform this movement, you'll of course need to use a slightly lighter weight, seeing as you'll be able to kick back much less than you can curl. What's cool about this is the muscles are under constant tension as they go through the concentric and eccentric phases. This builds up a whole lot of metabolic stress for a great burn and a high likelihood of hypertrophy. Another benefit is you'll be able to hit the deltoids, the biceps, the triceps, all simultaneously. This is ideal for an arms routine when you're short on time, and it requires a certain amount of coordination as a hybrid exercise, combining at least two movements. Cartwheels. You probably didn't expect to see this here, but there are actually lots of benefits to performing cartwheels. The truth is that even for those of us who train regularly, we're generally quite slow moving and static, we tend to lift things in a straight line from a still position. As children, on the other hand, we'd throw ourselves about, roly-poly, attempt handstands and more, and we were much more limber and far less prone to injury as a result. This kind of fast movement and inversion throws the body and the brain through a loop, hitting it with all kinds of sensory information and requiring rapid alterations in muscle tone and position. 
This builds coordination, mind-muscle connection, and a youthful vigour that many of us have lost. As an added bonus, cartwheels also improve mobility in the hips and the shoulders, and they're another movement in the frontal plane. Not only that, but this kind of movement also subjects the body to impacts to help strengthen the joints and the bones, and as an added bonus, it's a perfect progression towards other movements like aerials, B-twists and even handsprings. Go both left and right to develop that ambidexterity too. Loaded carries. The loaded carry is a movement that can in some ways be considered the most functional movement of them all. That's because it's concerned with simply moving a heavy object from point A to point B, which is something you actually do in real life. This builds the traps to a large degree, maintain a slight shoulder shrug, avoid fully depressing the scapula, trains the erector spinae and core to keep you upright, improves your gait, and offers a contralateral exercise for enhanced coordination. It develops grip and forearm strength, improves hip strength, and may even enhance jump height, balance, and stability. Of course, this is also a great form of resistance cardio, as you'll be using a lot more energy to move. It can increase bone density too, simply due to your body being under a heavy load for longer. I love when a workout is extremely simple, but also has very noticeable and undeniable impacts on your body. Just grab two 20kg kettlebells, or maybe one 36kg kettlebell, and go for a mile walk. The next day you'll feel as though you had a hugely effective whole body workout, because you have. And as you progress, you can simply increase the weight, the distance, the time to completion, or even the way that you're holding the weights. Weighted monkey bars. Unfortunately, not everyone reading this is likely to have access to monkey bars, nor a means of adding weight to their bodies. But if you're fortunate enough to have this opportunity, take it. The monkey bars in general are a fantastic workout for the entire upper body. You'll be performing an isometric contraction to keep your body aloft, while also opening up the shoulders. By transitioning your weight onto just one arm, you'll be preparing for moves like the one-armed pull-up and one-armed hang. You'll also require a huge amount of grip strength to stay up there, and you'll find it surprisingly a tough core workout as you use your abs and obliques to help swing yourself forwards to the next rung. Also awesome is taking off the weight and swinging around freestyle. That's a fun way to challenge your pulling strength in all kinds of different angles. Finally, the gamma cast is considered the king exercise of the club bells. Take a club bell and hold it in both hands in front of you, elbows bent and supporting the weight. Now leading with the tip, circle the club bell behind your head in a clockwise motion and then return to the starting position. Pause, then repeat again, heading the other way. Like a kettlebell swing, this movement is ballistic in nature. This is an explosive movement utilising the stretch shortening cycle, with the goal being to accelerate a load as fast as possible without a deceleration phase. Think of it like a longer plyometric exercise. Unlike the kettlebell swing though, the camera cast is aimed at the scapula humeral thoracic articulation, requiring you to rotate your shoulders against a constantly changing force. This is great for opening up the shoulders and increasing strength and stability, but it also requires a similar amount of stability in the core and legs to keep the body still against the g-forces. There's very little like it. So those are just some of my favourite, often overlooked movements from a host of different disciplines that can build multiple different attributes simultaneously that you may otherwise be missing. Let me know your favourites in the comments below and stay tuned because I'm likely to do more of these kinds of videos in future. A previous one was very popular. So hope you found this video useful and interesting guys. If you did then please leave a like, please share it around, that helps me out immensely. If you like this kind of training then check out my ebook and training programme, Super Functional Training. You can find the link in the description down below. Head over to the blog for more like this or hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks a ton for watching and bye for now.